Hi everyone, my name is Grant K, and welcome to another Autodesk Smoke video. In today's session, we're going to be having a look at conforming timelines and rebuilding them from Final Cut Pro. Now before we go into Smoke, let's quickly go ahead and have a look at Final Cut Pro and the processes of exporting in XML, which can then be conformed in Autodesk Smoke. The resolution settings of the XML conform is based on the settings of your sequence in Final Cut Pro. By right-clicking on the sequence in the bin and choosing Settings from the pop-up menu, you will be presented with the Sequence Settings window. This is where you would define the frame size, pixel aspect ratio, field dominance and frame rate. If you're using the same media between Final Cut Pro and Autodesk Smoke, the sequence settings will need to match Smoke's project settings for an easy conform. If you are using a standard definition resolution for the offline in Final Cut Pro and a high definition resolution in Autodesk Smoke, this is not a problem as you can make Smoke reformat the resolution when doing the online conform. For the purposes of this example, I will be creating a full HD project at 23976. Remember this configuration as you will use the exact same values when setting up a Smoke project. With Final Cut Pro, the media is accessed directly by linking to the files. Depending on the workflow, you might choose to work with the original media files. Alternatively, you can access media through the Media Manager through the File menu and choose to recompress the media into a QuickTime format for standardization. Whichever way you choose, you will be able to conform the timeline in Smoke, but you will need to ensure that you export the XML correctly so that the media relinks in Autodesk Smoke. The timeline currently displayed is using native ProRes media. In my bin, the sequence is labeled as My Edit. Select and right-click on the edit. Choose Export and select the XML option through the sub-menu. In the Export XML pop-up, choose the Apple XML Interchange Format version 5. Make sure that Include Master Clip Outside Selection is disabled. You can also choose whether or not to save your project after the export has taken place. Click OK to bring up the Save window. It's a good idea to navigate close to the Media Files folder and place the XML file in the same folder as the media or folder level above. The reason for this is when Smoke conforms a timeline, it will search down through the directories depending on its location. Click Save and the XML will be exported. So, exporting an XML is really simple and then this can be imported into Autodesk Smoke. The one thing to remember about the XML is that it links to its media through the file name. So let's go into Smoke and have a look at how we can now build and conform the timeline. Remember what I said earlier when creating a project in Smoke. It's always a good idea to match the project's resolution if possible. So this project will be full 1080 HD running at 23976 frames per second at 10 bit. Starting in Smoke, you are always brought to the creative desktop level. However, all your media management tasks are performed at a database level or what we like to call the clip library. To enter into the clip library, you will see a blue button to the left of the interface labelled Default Clip Library. You can have multiple clip libraries per project if you wish by clicking the New button. To go into the clip library, simply click the Open button. So here we have an empty clip library or bin if you wish to call it that and we will do the conform. Firstly, we need to browse to the XML and its media on the drives. Smoke has its own built-in equivalent of the Apple Finder that is called the Gateway. We will split the screen in half by enabling the dual view split at the top left of the interface. This means you can browse your network as well as look into the database at the same time. Using the blue pop-up button, you can open the menu and choose the forward slash volumes folder on your Mac. 
This will show all the drives on the system. Now you simply expand the entries to get the XML and the media files. Expanding the ProRes folder reveals the QuickTime media that will be used for the conform. You don't have to have the media exposed all the time, so you can close the folder by clicking on the triangle to the left of the folder. Let's conform the My Edit sequence. Double click on the XML to select it and bring up the XML settings at the bottom of the interface. For extra information, you can swipe to the right of the interface which brings up the preview window. This will show the various details embedded in the XML. You can swipe to the right again to hide the preview window. The metadata options at the bottom of the interface lets you give this timeline a different name when conformed, but it also allows you to change the resolution of the timeline. This is very useful if you've offlined at standard definition and wish to conform a high definition timeline to high definition sources. In this case, the clip resolution is consistent between Final Cut Pro and Autodesk Smoke, so I will choose the resolution from the file. Under the media options, we set the search criteria for the media that the timeline will link to. Because the XML was linked to the sequence with the original files, we can tell Smoke to search for the media based on file name. To conform the timeline, drag and drop the XML from the gateway window into the clip library and Autodesk Smoke will do the rest. And that's it. Really simple. I can select the clip and load it to the desktop. Expanding the timeline shows that the edit is the same and the metadata is pointing to the QuickTime media. For more detail on the media, click the Alt button and hover over the clip and it will reveal the file path as well. The conform is now complete and you can begin onlining and finishing your production in Autodesk Smoke. Please check the documentation or help wiki database to see what QuickTime formats are supported and what effects are supported when conforming an XML in Autodesk Smoke. There are also advanced tools in Autodesk Smoke for dealing with challenging conforms, and if you need any additional assistance, please feel free to visit the Autodesk area forums. For more information about Autodesk Smoke, or to download a free trial copy, please visit autodesk.com smokeformac. Thank you for watching, and see you again really soon.